Okay, so after having covered the singly linked list and circular linked list data structures, we're going to move on to the doubly linked list data structure. So we're going to cover briefly how this data structure looks, which mostly should look pretty familiar given the background of the other two that we mentioned. And what we'll do then is we'll code up an implementation in Python and we'll focus on how we can append, that is add elements to the end and also prepend, that is add elements to the front of a doubly linked list. So let me show you an example of what a doubly linked list looks like. So a lot of these things should look familiar, especially if you went over the singly linked list data structure series of videos. There's a head node. All of the nodes in this list have both a data component and next component. The node here points to next, which is the next node in the list, and it follows this structure until it reaches null. One thing that is a bit different is every node here has a dot previous as well. So this node keeps track of the previous node as well as the next one. Another thing that's a bit different is that the head node, the previous pointer to the head node also is null. So while we have next of the last node is null, just like we did for a singly linked list, the previous pointer of the head node is also null. So that's also different. So that's ba the basic idea of what a doubly linked list looks like. So now what we can do is we can try to code up this data structure in Python and it should look mostly pretty familiar to what we've seen so far with a few key differences based on the way the structure, uh, the structure is here. So let's go ahead and open up an editor and let's create a node class. So we're going to create a node class just like we did before and in the constructor this constructor is going to take self and data. Again, this is the same. And the node, again, has two components. It has, what well, actually has three components in this case. It has the data component, it has the next component, and it also has the previous component. So we'll say self.data is equal to the data that we pass in. So we create a node object based on the data that's passed in. And then we'll say self.next is initially equal to none. So that's exactly the same that we saw for both circular and singly linked lists. The thing that's going to be different here is we're also going to have a self.prev for previous, which is going to be equal to none initially as well. So that again, we'll keep track of the arrow going backward, the previous pointer to the node before it. So that's our node class. Not too much has changed. The key difference between the two uh, linked list classes we've gone over before, singly and circular, is this line right here. So let's go ahead and create the doubly linked list class. So we'll say class doubly linked list. And then in this constructor, again, the same sort of thing that we saw in the previous lists, we're going to just say self.head is initially equal to none. So if we have just an empty list, the head node is none. So this is exactly the same as what we saw for singly and circular linked lists. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to have an append function. So this append function is going to take a piece of data, create a node, and then append it, add it to the end of the list. We're also going to have a similar function, which is going to be called prepend, same prototype for the function, but what, what this is going to do is it's going to create a node and put it at the front of the doubly linked list. And then what we're also going to do in this video so we can verify that these functions performed as expected, we'll have a print list function as well, which we'll fill in. So before we go ahead and fill in these functions, let's just code up uh, an example and then we'll run the example once we've coded the logic for some of these functions. So let's say double linked list is equal to double linked list and then let's go ahead and append on some elements. So let's say um, append one and we'll do four elements. So we'll say two, three, four. So let's add those in there. So, of course, this doesn't do anything at the moment. We're just calling the append function, and then we're going to be writing the logic now so we can actually see what this looks like. And then once we do that, we'll go ahead and call the print function, the print list function, so we can see if it actually successfully appended those elements onto our list. So let's think about how we can code up this append function. So let's go back to our image here. So really, when we want to append an element onto a doubly linked list, there's two cases we need to make sure that we take care of. Namely, one of the cases is that we're dealing with an empty list, that is, there's no nodes in the list as of this point, and the new node that we create is actually the first node, and we want to append that onto the list that's previously empty. The other case is when there's at least one other node in the list, and we want to append the new node that we create onto that list that has at least one element.
So let's think about the case where we just have an empty list and we're appending on something for the first time. So if we have nothing here except for just none, then what we want to do is we want to first create a new node. Let's assume that there's nothing, like all of these are, are gone. Let's assume that none of those exist. And we create a new node that we'll put in the data for as let's say A. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we do a couple things. We want to make sure that the previous pointer, the pointer that, that this node has here points to null. So we want to make sure that if we're doing that on an empty list, we create a node, the previous pointer of that node points to null. And we also want to make sure that if it is indeed the first node that we're adding onto this list, that we're appending onto this list, that we set it appropriately equal to the head of the list because it's the first and only node in that list now. So that's pretty much all we need to do for that case. Let's go ahead and code up that and then we'll get to the other case after that. So basically what we need to do is we'll check if the head node is none, that means that there's no elements in the list. What we'll do in that case is we'll create a new node based on the data that's passed into the append function. And then we'll make sure that we set new node dot previous is equal to none. So again, what that is doing, just to go back to the picture here, we create a new node and we want to make sure that the previous pointer of this node points to none because that's the way it's done in a doubly linked list. And then what we also want to do is we want to update the status of the head pointer. So we want to say that the head is now the new node that we've just put onto that list. So self.head is equal to new node. So now we want to consider the case when there's at least one element in the list and how do we append at the end of that list. So let's go back to the picture again. Let's assume that we have a list that looks just like this and we want to append a new node to the end of this list. So basically what we want to do is we want to append, let's say, a new node over here, E, that goes in between null and, and this D node right here. So what we want to do is we want to create the node first of all. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that this next pointer doesn't point to null anymore. This next pointer is going to point to that new node. Likewise, we need to make sure that we update the previous pointer. So every node has a next and previous pointer. So the new node's previous pointer needs to point back to this node right here. And then also, since now this new node down here is the new node, we want to make sure that it points to null. Since this is no longer the last node of the list, the new node that we've just added is, we want to make sure that's pointing to null. So we'll step through that and hopefully that'll make sense. So let's go ahead and say new node is equal to node of data. So we're creating the new node again. And what we're going to do in order for us to get to this last node of the list is we're going to start at the head and we're going to traverse one node by one node all the way until we get to this node here. Basically the way we're going to do that is we're going to start off here and check if the dot next pointer of the node that we're on is equal to null. So is the dot next pointer of this one equal to null? No, it's equal to the node with, that stores B. Is this one equal to null? No, this one is equal to the node that stores C and so on. So we're here, we check the dot next pointer, it actually does point to null, and this is the node that we, uh, we care about. It's the last valid node in the doubly linked list, and that's the one that we want to update the next and previous pointers for. So what we'll do is we'll say current is equal to initially self.head, and this will move right along in the doubly linked list uh, in order for us to find what the last node is. So we'll say while current.next, so while that's not none, we're going to update the current pointer to keep going down the list. And then once we exit that while loop, we should have the last node. So we should have the node in this case with element D, or in the case of the example in this code here, with element 4. And then what we want to do is we want to say new node dot prev is equal to the current. Why are we doing that? That's because we create a new node and again we need to we need to make sure that the previous pointer of the new node that we create points back to this guy over here. So we're saying new node dot previous is equal to current because current is the last node, what was the last node. And now we want to update the node that we just added, new node, we want to make sure that, that now points to null. So we'll say new node dot next is equal to none. And that should do it. So let's make sure that's actually uh, done properly. In order for us to do that, we also need to fill in this print list function, which should be somewhat familiar if you've seen the other uh, videos on singly linked lists and circular linked lists. But just as a brief description, what we want to do here is we want to, should go back to the picture, set a pointer equal to the head of the list, and then print out the data of this node. And then while next is not equal to null, just keep printing out the data and keep moving that pointer across each of these nodes. So we'll say current is equal to the head of the list. And then basically while current, print out current.data, 
and then move that pointer right along in the list. So current is equal to current.next, and that should do the trick. So what we've done here, again, we've created a double eight link list. We've appended the elements one through four, and then we're printing that list out to the screen. So let's actually make sure that that uh, works as expected. Let me just go ahead and clear this. Actually, one thing that I forgot to do in this append function is I forgot to add a line after this current is equal to current.next. Basically, I wanted to make sure that current.next is equal to new node. So just to clarify why that is, if I go back to the image here, so again, we found our last node that we want to append the new node onto at this point, and we want to say that the next pointer of that node points to the new node. So if we go back to this picture, next currently points to null. We don't want that. We want next to point to the new node that we just created. So we have to update the next pointer of this of this node right here to make sure that it does that. So I had just forgotten to add that line. That's why I added that back in. I cleared the screen. Let's go ahead and hopefully have this work properly. So indeed we see one, two, three, four. So it seems to have worked as expected. Let's go ahead and give that another clear. Okay, so now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to do a similar operation that's prepending. So that's adding to the front of the list. Let's go back to the figure to think about how we can do that. So again, we have two cases that we need to think about. One is the case where there's no elements in the list and we're adding an element, we're prepending an element for the first time. And then the other case is when there's at least one other node in the list and we're prepending onto that list. So in the case when there's no elements and we just want to add an element to the doubly linked list for the first time, that if condition is going to be just, just about identical to the case where we wanted to append for the case where um, we were appending onto the list. So if there's no element in the list already, if we check the head is not, if we check the head is none, then all we need to do is pretty much the same if condition that we had before. Now, if we want to prepend onto this list and there are at least one other node in the list, what we want to do then is we want to say, okay, we want to add a new, new node here. So basically what we do is we want to update the previous pointer of this guy. No longer does he point to null, but it'll actually point to the new node, right? And it, moreover, the previous pointer will point to the new node, but also this next pointer of this guy, the new node that we'll create should point to what is currently the head. So we'll have this arrow pointing to the new node. We'll have a next pointer from the new node pointing to this guy over here. And then we'll have this new node that we create to point to null, because now that's the front of the list that needs to point to null. And then we need to move this head status from this node over here, because no longer is this node the head, but the node that we just added, we prepended to the list is now the head of the list. That's kind of the main idea. So let's code it up and we'll go back to the figure as we need to. So again, we have the if condition. So if self.head is none, what we're gonna do in that case is we're just going to create our new node based on the data that we were fed in. We're going to say new node dot prev is equal to none and then also self.head is equal to new node. So that's pretty much the same thing that we had in the append function. So now what we wanna do is we want to prepend onto a doubly linked list that has at least one node in there. So again, what do we wanna do? Let's go back to the figure. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create our new node. And the next step is to say, this guy's previous pointer shouldn't point to null anymore. It actually should point to the new node that we just created. Let's go ahead and just do that. So we'll create our new node, is equal to node of data. And then we want the previous pointer of the current head, so self.head.previous, this should point to the new node that we just created. So we'll say this is equal to the new node. And then what we want to do, go back to the figure, is the new node that we've just created, now this arrow is pointing there, but we also want the next pointer to be taken into account. So we want to say the next pointer of this new node that we've added should point to the head. So we want to say new node.next is equal to the head of the list. So it's currently the head of the list, but we also want to update this. So the new node that we just added that we're prepending onto the front of the list, that's now the head. So we'll move this head status from this node over here over to the new node. So we'll say new so we'll say self.head is equal to new node. And then we'll also make sure that the new node that we just added, because again, it's a doubly linked list, the front of the list, whatever that front node is, needs to point to null. So we need to make sure that the new node that we just added, since it's the head of the list, points to null. So new node.previous is equal to none. 
and that will pretty much do that. So let's go ahead and verify this works. So let's say doubly linked list dot prepend zero. Uh, let me spell prepend correctly. So basically what we've done here is we've prepended the first element on as zero. I didn't even spell prepend correctly there. Let me actually spell prepend correctly. Prepend. I think I, okay, there we go. Anyway, so what we're doing here is we're hitting that if condition. So we're saying if the head is none, prepend, follow this strategy right here. So we're prepending onto the list that way. So what we should see is we should see zero, one, two, three, four. Let's just go ahead and make sure that this if condition uh, works as expected. So we see zero, because it's prepended on the front of the list, one, two, three, four. So let's verify that we can prepend even down here. So once we've, we have this list zero, one, two, three, four, let's go ahead and prepend something else. Let's prepend five. So if we do that here, we're, we're hitting this prepend function. This if condition fails, at least in this case here, because we're not trying to prepend onto the onto a list that doesn't have any nodes, we're trying to prepend onto a list that has nodes. So this else condition is triggered. And so we're gonna verify that this part of the code works as expected. So with any luck, what we should see is we should see five, zero, one, two, three, four. Because again, we're prepending this once we've already constructed our zero, one, two, three, four list. So let's just verify that works. So again, we see five, which is prepended at the very end, zero, one, two, three, four. So that's exactly what we expected to see. Okay, so that pretty much does it for this video. We'll continue on with more doubly linked list videos in the future. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, the code for these videos will be available on my GitHub page, the link which will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye.